After a couple of series wins to begin conference play, including a sweep over Cincinnati, the Bulls were atop the American and welcoming ECU to Tampa this weekend. Game one, Friday night, very low scoring game. All the runs were scored in the fifth inning. ECU got going first. They came to the plate in the fifth. Reed Love singled, and then he was brought in by Travis Watkins. The Pirates took the lead one to nothing. But after that RBI single by Watkins, Jimmy Herget would not yield anything the rest of the night. Herget went eight innings, allowed seven hits and just one run, struck out nine, and got his sixth win of the season. The Bulls' only offense came in the bottom of the fifth. Luke Borders got his first hit and only hit of the night, leading off in the fifth with a single. And then with the Bulls trailing one to nothing, Luke Maglich stepped to the plate. And he would crush this baseball. Fifth home run of the season. That one was into orbit. Deep beyond right field, Maglich gave the Bulls a 2-1 lead. They would not relinquish that, in part due to some phenomenal pitching from Herget and then Tommy Peterson down the stretch. The only other opportunity that ECU came close on, this deep ground ball in the hole in the seventh. Kyle Teeth made a tremendous play. The Pirates were held to just seven hits, all of them coming in the first five innings for a team that ended entered as the second best offense in the conference. So into the ninth, enter Tommy Peterson. 10 saves on the year, that's second in the conference, and he was on his way to number 11. Struck out the first batter he faced, and then facing Garrett Brooks with two outs, a pop-up. Into the infield, Kyle Teef circling, and the Bulls had a series opening win to improve to 6-1 on the conference season. Saturday night's Game 2 of the series was delayed an hour and 16 minutes due to lightning in the area. Didn't seem to affect the Bulls any. After scoring just two runs in a 2-1 win on Friday, USF blasted out with three right here in the first inning. Kyle Teef started the game with a double. Kevin Merrill brought him in to score, and then Merrill wouldn't have to do much with Levi Borders coming to the plate right behind him. Five home runs in the season for Borders. Add another one. This one tagged deep into left field. Might have bounced off a palm tree over there behind the wall. Borders drives in two runs. He would not be done and had a massive game in this one. USF led 3 to nothing going into the fourth. Another monster inning started off by Levi Borders. He brings in two more runs here, scoring Kyle Teef and Kevin Merrill. USF jumped out to a 6-0 lead, and the Bulls would tack on one more here in the fourth inning. There was some brotherly connection here. Luke Borders coming to the plate. He'll drive in his older brother, Levi. The Borders brothers have combined to lead this USF team in nearly every statistical category this season. So a 7-0 lead after four for the Bulls, and they were by no means done scoring yet. One inning later, Austin Luke is going to start the run producing, driving in Daniel Portales with a flared shot out into right field. 16th RBI of the season for Luke. This is a game where everyone in the starting lineup recorded a base hit for USF. Well, here's Levi Borders, already driven in four runs so far. And you know what? He's going to drive in two more. Another deep shot, this time into left center. It doesn't go out of the park, but falls for a two-run double. Borders finish with six RBIs, three for five in the game. The Bulls take the series with a 10-0 win on Saturday night in Game 2.